Carrie McMullen and Kurt Pendleton are here exclusively this morning. Good morning to you both. Good morning. With friends like these, who needs enemies, huh, Carrie? Exactly. Unbelievable. Let's start from the beginning. Did you even give it a second thought, even for a second, about posting where you were going for the night? No, I do it every day. And now, in hindsight? I haven't been on there since. <laughs> you haven't been on there since. No. So then you get home, you watch the surveillance video, mm -hmm. and you take matters into your own hands, still not realizing this is one of your Facebook friends, Correct. posting the images online. What kind of response do you get? Um, of course, people were saying they were sorry. Uh, I had one person say that they thought it was a particular person, but the person's not been ID'd by the cops yet, um, so we're not 100% sure. I have a lot of friends on there that I don't talk to on a regular basis that's from high school. Mm -hmm. so. That's why the cameras out there, and you know their faces are on TV. So hopefully, he can be ID. They will be positively identified. Correct. But but after that person said, "Hey, this looks like so and so, who's your Facebook friend?" Did you agree? Did you think, "Yeah, that looks like that"? Person? Yes, I looked at his page. I had not looked at his page at all, um, and I had I hadn't seen this person in a long time. And it's he has a twin. If it's not him. So, and if we didn't get him on camera, you would never. We would have never. I mean, not in a million years suspected him. And it's amazing that you did get him on camera because hadn't you just installed that camera? Like a few not days even before? a week prior, and for another reason. So, you know, we were just trying to see people come in and going during the day. We didn't expect because you're selling your house, so a lot of strangers. Yeah, are the house is getting sold, house. and um, I just wanted to see who's coming because something got broken uh, mm -hmm. that was important to her. So I said, you know, I'm I'm just going to install these cameras and be done, even though we're moving in a couple months. So we installed them and just four days later we're catching somebody on camera stealing everything on the first floor pretty much. We're seeing them, uh, it looks like they're picking up big electronics. Mm -hmm. What did they take that hurts the most? Um, I have my grandmother's ring that she left when I was probably four when she passed away. It was her wedding band mm -hmm. and it was in our bedroom in a jewelry box and they took that. That's the only thing that's non-replaceable so I would really like to have that back. Yeah. Have police, since you think you know who it is, have police made any progress at all? Um, they said that they, you know, they have leads and they are um, talking to witnesses. And that's all the release right now. So, what have you learned from this, both of you, and what do you hope that that people will learn? Um, I think the social networkings are, are good to have. You just have to be smart about it. I mean, because just because you're trustworthy and a nice person does not mean everyone on your Facebook is. So. Right. You just, you can't put your address, my address wasn't even listed, um, or your phone number, yeah. or, you know, that you're home alone, or going out of town. Because just because you, just, you call them Facebook friends doesn't really mean they're correct. your friends. Correct. I have a lot of those on my page. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, Carrie so, and Kurt. Thank Thanks so much for being here. No problem. We want to help you out. So if any of you have any information on this burglary, please call the Floyd County Sheriff's Department. They can be reached at 812-948-5407. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.